Hey everybody, it's Dr. O'Neill here, Dr. O, uh, and my buddy Skeeter, the microscope. So I'm a huge fan of creating your own slides. When I was a kid, I created slides of pond water and spit and insect parts and anything I could find. But I definitely recommend if you purchase a handful of slides that uh, one of them be a mitosis slide, which you can do things with onion tips and the like. But this is actually a fish blasto, blasto disc mitosis slide. The reason I really, really recommend this is that you are going to see very tiny structures, which is, again, the point of a microscope. And you also can use this when you're learning about mitosis, uh, which is the division of body cells, so or truly the division of the nucleus. But So I like that you can get a lot of uh, kind of double duty out of this. You can use this just to learn how to use the microscope and play around and see cool things. But you can actually see the process of nuclear division and cell division occurring in this slide as well. All right, here we're on the scanning power, the 4X objective, total magnification of 40 times. I have, I've done my, my Goldilocks to try to make sure it's as focused as possible. Now I'm going to move to the yellow low power objective with a total magnification of 100. So as I hone in here, also remember you should always be centering what you want to look at because the field of view is going to get a lot smaller. Right there, the jump from 40X to 100X meant the magnification went up two and a half times but the field of view just got two and a half times smaller. All right, so here's low power. I'm gonna look through the actual microscope itself and then check the screen. Looks pretty good. Even from this angle or this, this magnification, we can see different cell cells in different uh, uh, steps of mitosis. So what you're looking at is a, is a huge pile of cells. This is not just one really big one. Jumping ahead to the high dry power objective. Let me change the lighting so you guys can see it through the camera. And then right here, so we're already seeing, I mean, smack dab in the middle, we're seeing really cool things happening here. So uh, let me kind of center it, but um, sorry about this. But uh, we're right there in the center, we see the chromosomes lining up at the, uh, the equator of the cell, as I like to call it. And if I go back a little bit higher, you can see there the chromosomes being apart, pulled, pulled apart. So just quickly, again, this is not the reason for this video, but during prophase, uh, the nucleus would, would disappear. During metaphase, the chromosomes will line up at the equator, the metaphase plate that I just showed you. During anaphase, the chromosomes will be pulled apart into two separate piles. And then during telophase or telophase, uh, two new nuclei will form. And then to actually, so mitosis is just the division of the nucleus. To actually complete cell division, we would need the next step, which is cytokinesis. So you guys can look around here, pause this video, and kind of look around and see if you can find other phases. If not, I hope you get a slide and do this for yourself. Um, we'll go ahead and go to the oil immersion just for the practice, but you can actually see the different stages here already. So I'm going, it's going to go dark. As I move the objective halfway, I'm putting the single drop of immersion oil right on the center of the slide. And look, look for my other videos on why we use immersion oil and, the, and how microscopes work. But then I'm going to slowly move the oil immersion objective here. So this is going to give me a total magnification of 1,000x on this microscope. You can go higher than that. But uh, here again, we see individual cells undergoing mitosis. And that is so cool. I mean, you are seeing how every cell is created. I mean, every cell is, is created from a pre-existing cell like this using cell division or comes from a stem cell. But stem cells still have to undergo this process. So you are seeing the creation of new cells right here under the microscope. So I hope you dig this stuff. I hope you guys get your microscopes out. I hope you go and find things to look at. And I hope you are inspired, empowered, and engaged learners. And I hope that you go and make the world a better place. Have a good one.